What's up, everyone? So yesterday I was on a live and I was asked, what are my thoughts on additives and tequila? Because obviously you have the huge tequila creators always saying additive free, additive free, additive free. And my take is very simple. I don't care about additives in the tequila. I don't care if I know for sure if they don't have them in there, if they do have them in there. Uh, and the reason why is very simple. As I try to eat healthy and everything, um, and I try to make the majority of things that I eat are healthy because I am, you know, losing weight. I'm getting back in shape. I am a baseball trainer, so I can't be out there overweight as I'm trying to train, you know, high school, uh, college, uh, pro athletes, uh, how to play baseball. Uh, you know, if you are a college athlete, you're an athlete of any kind, you need to be healthy. But at the same time, I do drink beer, I do drink, you know, cognac, uh, whiskey, um, I enjoy steaks, I enjoy potatoes, I'm still a, I'm still a Midwest country boy, I'm gonna have my meat, you know, so to me, if, if I'm not watching everything that I eat, why should I watch everything that is in my tequila? Now, to put it in there as well, there's only four additives in the tequila that are allowed by the CRT, which is one per, you can put up to 1% of these additives in there. And these additives are glycerin, caramel coloring, oat extract, and sugar-based syrup. So glycerin, honestly, is the worst out of those four, those four additives that are allowed in there. And that's just for the mouthfeel. But you can find glycerin, oat extract, coloring, food coloring, um, Sugar, uh, sugar syrup, sugar based syrup it could be agave syrup just for it tastes more like agave. You can find all these in multitude of different, you know, different foods and everything that you eat anyway. Not only that, but if you go to you just go get a lunch meat sandwich from your local store, you have 3,000 plus additives and preservatives that you can put into there as well. Less on if you eat a Wendy's burger or a McDonald's burger or any kind of fast food burger. So if if I'm going to go and eat that stuff, which has a lot more chemicals and additives and preservatives in there than my glass of tequila, why should I care about what's in the tequila? Drink what you love, find bottles. If you want to always go on the additive free list, you'd never find a bottle like this, Joel Richard. Same thing with other brands. So just drink it. If you love it, stay with it and enjoy it, man.